Off the top here at 8 o'clock, the MBTA officially dropping its mask mandate. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. Earlier this evening, we learned whether or not the federal government may fight to put mask mandates back in place in airports and mass transit. WBZ's Christina Rex is live outside of Park Street Station with what you need to know. Christina. Yeah, David, the Biden administration says right now it has no plans to appeal that decision unless the CDC says that masks are still necessary on public transit. So what does that mean here at home? It means effective immediately. No more masks are required to ride the T. After more than two years of masking up, signs like this will soon be taken down from the MBTA. I think that's good. The mask mandate is now lifted on the T after a judge struck down the nationwide public transit mask mandate Monday night. The ruling also applies to Logan Airport. Masks now optional there, too. And several airlines have dropped their mandates. Riders on the T have mixed feelings. I felt kind of comfortable with other people that masks on. Some are planning to keep the extra layer. Probably until further notice, like probably until cases are at like zero. But others heard the news and shed their masks immediately. You know, everybody's uh, more vibrant, everybody's coming out more, everybody's not living in fear, which is good. They hope it's a sign. I think it means hopefully that we're nearing the end. Now, here in Massachusetts, masks are still required in healthcare settings. And today, in a press conference, Governor Baker he emphasized that if you still want to wear a mask, you should feel comfortable doing so. For now, live at the Park Street Station, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you. Today, the state.